you wake up. You look around to find yourself in a recently opened suspended animation pod. You look up. Fluorescent lights beam down into your pale face. Your limbs feel weak. Your head is spinning and you are starving. You seem to be in a laboratory. But what's that banging coming from that vent? Are you an insane? <laughs> Changed is a difficult action puzzle game made by Dragon Snow, released on April 4th, 2018. Changed features and is often known for its in detail death scenes revolving around transformation or transformation. Personally, I love this game, but I will be unbiased and give my criticism on parts I think could be improved. To start, I'm going to talk about the gameplay and give a recap of the lore in two different sections. Starting with section 1, let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay change could be summarized as a furry rage slash puzzle game, but I'm going to do my best to dive deep into the fundamentals. I'll talk about the death scenes first. When you die in change, which you will do a lot, it's bittersweet. There are in-depth cutscenes and descriptions for most of the deaths, or better known as transfers. Transferring is a process in which a latex monster absorbs an animal, combining them together creating a new form of latex monster. I'll give an example of the transferring process here. What's that sticky stuff on your hand? You can only watch through the two holes on the mask. You run over your new body with your slimy hands. You feel very sticky. <clears throat> Sorry you uh, had to see that. Anyways, let's get back to the gameplay review. In Changed, if you mess up and an enemy lands a hit on you, you are transferred instantly. <laughs> the levels of the game consist of running from enemies, dodging obstacles, and trying to solve puzzles. Many of the game's puzzles do not give hints initiatively and will expect you to figure everything out on your own, with few clues. I often found myself having to check the wiki because I just couldn't figure out how to complete some of the puzzles. Let's talk about the combat system in Changed. The combat system is comparable to horror games, running, and a lot of it. In Changed, the protagonist Colin isn't very strong considering he's been in a pod for the past 5 years, so there are a few times when you can fight enemies, and you more or less just defend yourself. Change is often labeled as a very hard game. I can agree with this. I found myself sometimes repeating levels and boss fights 30 to 50 times because I just couldn't figure out the correct way of how to beat it. After a while, you start to memorize the correct ways to move and dodge things in order to complete the level. Now, let's go into Schmucky's gameplay rant. <clears throat> a major factor that influences the gameplay in Change is the movement. In Changed, there are two types of movement, real-time and turn-taking. Real-time movement allows for your enemy to be able to chase you at any given time, even if you are standing still, which allows for fast chases. Second, there's turn-taking, in which enemies will only move a tile if you move a tile, which allows for more time to think. The movement in Changed can be perceived as frustrating and glitchy at times. This is because of the way tile movement works. When you press up arrow key, you move up one tile. When you press left arrow key, you move left one tile. But when you try to move left and then try to go up at the same time, you are stuck going left until you have completely reached the left tile, which makes dodging enemies difficult. Detecting which tile an enemy will go to is also very difficult. Enemies will always catch you if your hitbox and the enemy's hitbox are the same tile. So, when enemies make a movement to one of the tiles, the hitbox will always be there first, and the movement animation will come second. This can make it seem like you're in the clear going up, when in fact, the enemy had already selected the up tile. Changed also gives out barely any checkpoints in long levels. This means that if you die in a level, you have to restart any and all progress made back to your last checkpoint. Levels that should only take a couple tries to complete can take you dozens of tries because you lose so much progress each death. Overall, the gameplay changed could use a rework. I feel like it's missing an essential combat system we see in games like Undertale or Earthbound. Next up, let's talk about the lore. Sometime in the near future, a new virus is discovered in Antarctica that is spreading around the world killing people faster than ever seen before. The world's top scientists and elites gather together to attempt to create a cure for this virus. And it just so happens that animals are not affected by this terrible virus. So obviously the only solution is to combine human DNA with animal DNA. 
However, things went terribly wrong. The human slash animal hybrids became parasitic and formed out of latex. Ingredient of the concoction. Latex. Thus the latex creatures. We're born. The latex hybrids cannot survive on their own and need a host to transfer in order to survive. And just as things can't get any worse, a group of maniacs storm the testing laboratory, demanding they get the cure for the virus immediately. Then, just like that one scene in 28 Days Later, hell broke loose and all the scientists and humans became transferred, bringing the laboratory to ruin. Five years later, after the chaos, the lab's power malfunctions and a holding pod is automatically opened. This is where the game starts. You play as a confused little boy, Colin, roaming around the facility, trying to find out what happened, and why. Colin soon discovers the latex hybrid monsters roaming around the lab, wanting to transfer him. But after meeting a certain goopy boy, you soon realize that things are not as bad as they seem, and that some latex monsters can hold sentience. This goopy boy Colin meets is called Puro, and instead of wanting to transfer Colin, he wants to help Colin escape from the lab. Please, keep going and escape from here. Thank you for accompanying me. Thank you for listening to me. And so Colin and Puro go on the treacherous journey to escape from the lab and uncover its hidden secrets. Overall, The Lore Unchanged is one of the best parts. It has great character development and really makes you feel. To wrap it up, I feel like Changed is a great game for those seeking a fun, difficult role-playing game with cute characters, art, and a heartwarming lore. However, Changed as an actual game is not very good. Think of an artist programming a game. The art part will be very detailed and well-made, but the gameplay is going to be lacking. It doesn't help that Changed is labeled as a furry game which can turn some people off to the idea of playing it. As a review standpoint, I definitely would recommend Changed, but the gameplay can feel unfinished and broken at times. However, the developer is literally remaking the entire game and will upload it to Steam for free along with a purchase of Changed, so maybe all hope isn't lost. Thanks for watching the Schmuckies review. Bye!